Alright guys, so in honor of the 20th anniversary of Xbox, I have a brand new sealed original Xbox here and we're going to unbox it today, see what's inside. I'm pretty excited to open this thing up but also a little bit nervous since as soon as I open it up it loses a pretty significant portion of its value. But let's go ahead and open this box up and obviously I paid a lot of money for this thing. Um, was not cheap but to be honest I've seen a lot of consoles that are even more. Um, so and as far as brand new sealed Xboxes go I don't think I got a terrible deal. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Got a bunch of newspaper. It's packaging. Hopefully it did a good job. Got some sealed air bubbles and some bubble wrap as well. And Alright guys, so here's the console. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the box and we'll take a closer look at it. Alright guys, so here it is and I don't know if I mentioned it yet but I did buy this from eBay and the seller mentioned that the console, uh, the outer packaging had some scratches from the cat or I guess just that some of this plastic wrap had been torn off but it actually looks in really good condition like once you go under the plastic wrap I don't see any scratches at all so this plastic wrap did a nice job and as you can tell it's a holiday pack uh, it comes with some games you got Fusion Frenzy you got Forza Motorsport the OG and then I believe down here is Soul Calibur as well and honestly I looked online I was trying to figure out when this exact bundle came out and I couldn't find it uh, if I do find it I'll throw a picture up on the screen and tell you when but it's not like the very first one that came out but it's still the same console just an updated bundle but uh yeah like I said Forza Motorsport Fusion Frenzy Holiday Pack. It says it includes two games, but then it's a, a bonus game down here. So I'm not sure why why they didn't just say three games. You also got two months of Xbox Live. <laughs> um, honestly, I didn't even know Xbox Live cost money back in the day of the original Xbox. I, I was a PS2 guy back then. But yeah, let's go ahead and just take a look at this whole console and uh, see what we got here. All right, so here on the side, I got some details. It'll tell us the exact contents. So we got a video game console, controller with three meter cable, uh, standard AV cable power cord instruction manual and then some accessories that are sold separately like the DVD movie playback kit um, You can buy some additional con controllers as well. I'm assuming this uh, console comes with the uh, the revised controller not, not the Duke controller But uh, I guess we'll see that depends on when this thing exactly released which like I said I haven't figured that out yet and down here. This is actually interesting. You got it's, it's got some details about what this unit is used for so this unit is designed to be used with games that have the Xbox logo and the designation, audio CDs, and DVD movies. So nice. And this is also kind of funny down here. You got your Xbox Live system requirements. So game with Xbox Live logo, that's obvious. And then high speed internet service with cable or DSL. So that's just funny how high speed was DSL back then. All right, and then here on the back, you got some interesting stuff as well. Basically a lot of details. So you got X Xbox way beyond ordinary entertainment. Um, you got a bunch of examples of games. You got Halo 2, Madden NFL 05, Doom 3, uh, Conquer Live and Reloaded. So I guess Madden 05, that points me towards this this console being released in 04, 05, something like that. I guess we can check the manufacture date when we open this thing up. Um, that's kind of interesting to see. And yeah, if you look down here, you can tell that it has the uh, Xbox controller. I think it's called the S controller, not the Duke controller. So it was basically it was the, the revised controller that was a little bit smaller. And then, of course, over here, you got an ad for Xbox Live advertising all your EA games. Um, so kind of cool, kind of a throwback. You got PGA Tour 05, Burnout, some classic games here. And then, of course, over on this side, you got your Xbox logo again. And you got play games, compete online, hear the difference, watch DVD movies. Uh, yeah, this is just like a, a huge throwback. I know this is going to be nostalgic for a lot of people. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the condition of the rest of this thing, and then we'll open it up. All right, and here's the top as well. Not much here. You saw this on the front as well, but it only cost 200 bucks uh, when it came out, which is a whole lot less than I paid for it. Um, but it's it's amazing just to it's really interesting just to see the the console prices over time how they fluctuate. But yeah, guys, overall I'm really impressed with the condition of this box so far. It's all sealed on the bottom, um, which helps the the box condition. The top is nice and sealed as well, um, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, but let's go ahead and tear this plastic off, and we'll go ahead and open this thing up. All right, guys, so here it is, all unwrapped. And man, this thing looks actually looks really good. I don't see hardly any scratches. There's like one scratch up there, but that plastic wrap did a really nice job of protecting this thing. And just flipping it around real quick, you can tell that it looks really good. Got some indentations down here, but nothing terrible. And honestly, I don't really see many scratches in the back. Like I said, that plastic wrap did a really good job of protecting this thing. And actually we have a flap coming off on the front aha so I didn't notice this but this actually this holiday pack thing is actually just a flap on top 
and here's your actual like OG Xbox boxing underneath. I did not realize that. So that's pretty cool. I still actually want to keep this holiday pack kind of flap on front of it though. Yeah, I think if I rip it off, it's going to rip off some of the, the actual box. So I'm not going to do that. But let's go ahead and I guess we're ready for it. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So here it is, guys. If you didn't believe me, I mean, you saw the shrink wrap and here's the uh, here's the, the warranty seal or whatever you want to call it. I'm about to, you know, lose most of the value of this thing. Not most of it, but a lot of it. But let's let's do it, guys. So I really try to take my time opening that up so I don't ruin any of the box, but I think we got it, got it cut up enough so we can take off, peel back this flap, maybe. And here we go, guys. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Everything nice and new. That's, it's amazing to see stuff that's been around for 20 years and um, still in that kind of condition inside. The one concern I do have is, you know, this thing's been, been sitting around for 20 years. What if this is one of the consoles that was dead on arrival and I plug it in and it doesn't work? That would really suck, but uh, I think there's a really low chance of that. But let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. All right, so first of all, got your cables, AV cables, pretty standard stuff. And you got your Xbox controller all wrapped up with your three meter cable. And then of course you got your power cord. Everything looks pristine, all still in its uh, original wrapping. And then of course we take off the cardboard here and here is the, the actual console. Nice. And I got some games in here. We got our, let's see, got some uh, some pamphlets and, and manual and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And then we got uh, Fusion Frenzy, which is one of the games that it said it was con was included. So there you go, Fusion Frenzy. And there should be Forza Motorsport down in here as well. There it is. Man, it's also kind of crazy to see old games like this in pristine condition, brand new, not for individual sale. Nice. And then of course we also got our bonus game that was tucked down there. So Soul Calibur 2. So we got three games. Again, I'm not sure why they didn't advertise advertise three games in the front. It just said includes two games, and then there was like a bonus game at the bottom. I, I don't know. And then last but not least, let's take out this Xbox. So I'm gonna lay it down for this and just kind of slide it out. All right, so there we go, guys. Got the Xbox out. There's actually one more little pamphlet in here. Oh, it's my Xbox Live two-month trial. I wonder if that still works. Oh, nope, it says oh, offer available until 2006. Yeah, look, offer valid from uh, October 1st, 2005 to 12 31 06. So pretty short time frame, and that was about 15 years ago now. So now that we've unboxed everything, let's go ahead and get a closer look at everything. So we got our AV cable here. And what I'm actually thinking is I might just leave these sealed because I have other AV cables I can use. It's a power cord, AV cable. We'll leave those wrapped up. And then here's the controller. Uh, like I said, it's not the Duke controller. It's the revised version. Let's go ahead and take this one out of the package and we'll, we'll take a closer look at that. All right, so here it is. And man, that thing looks good. It should, it's brand new. Um, but ooh, those analog sticks feel good. Triggers feel nice. All the buttons nice and clicky. Amazing. That's a nice controller. All right, and I already showed you this uh, Xbox Live trial. Kind of cool to see. Um, says it has a $12 value in US dollars. Interesting. And we got, congratulations on owning the most exciting product on the planet. Act now to protect your investment in the amazing Xbox. So I'm guessing it's going to be kind of some kind of like warranty <laughs> thing. I don't know. So it's actually an Xbox service contract. And like I mentioned earlier, I was not, um, I had a PS2 back in these days. So I did not have an Xbox. So I'm not familiar with every single bit of Xbox, but I guess there was a uh, service contract, which I'm, which I'm assuming, well, I guess I can read it here. So, so basically it's kind of like a warranty. You'll stop costly repair headaches before they start for two entire years and a bunch of other stuff. You know, I'm sure Xbox made a ton of money off of this. Usually people selling warranties do make a ton of money off of it because only a small portion actually need to take advantage of the warranty but uh yeah and here's the manual i'll leave this one wrapped up as well looks pretty legit and then of course we got our three games we got forza motorsport looks pretty nice as it should one to two players and then we got fusion frenzy this game is one to four players and you got soul caliber 2 and that's from one to two players so i'm thinking i might keep forza motorsport and fusion frenzy sealed for now uh, but Soul Calibur has something interesting in it, like a little booklet that I can't tell what it is. So I kind of want to open this up and uh, see what we have in here. All right, so I got the plastic wrap off, and there is something interesting here. So they had a little extra cover that was covering up the actual case. So like a little paper cover, and then there's another little booklet in here, which just looks like the manual. I'm not sure why that's not included in, the, uh, in this case. So I might decide to open the games later, but for now I want to leave them sealed just in case I don't want to open them. So... Let's go ahead and open up this Xbox. So here it is, got your two 
um, basically styrofoam pieces that hold it in place. And then you got it wrapped in a little baggie as well. So let's go ahead and take it out of the styrofoam. And then here in the baggie, you got one little piece of tape on the bottom that we'll have to rip off. We'll see if we can keep this in nice pristine condition. Not sure if we'll be able to, but we'll try. Nice, so we got the tape off without ripping the bag. Now let's go ahead and pull the Xbox out of the bag. All right guys, so here it is, pulled it out, out of the bag and there's actually another uh, plastic film on this, which is kind of interesting. I've never actually seen this on a console, at least not that I remember, um, but it's got like a plastic film around the entire top and part of the front and the front also has a plastic film over the glossy portion, which is pretty cool because you know, glossy stuff gets scratched up pretty easily. And then here in the bottom, we can actually see our manufacturer date, which if you can see there, it's uh, April 21st, 2005. So this has got to actually be one of the more recent Xboxes that came out because it originally came out on November 15th, 2001. So um, this is about four years after that. And yeah, but let's go ahead and take off this, this uh, plastic wrap. All right, guys, there we go got the plastic wrap off and man, it really kind of hurt me taking that off because this thing is in pristine condition. I don't even want to touch it. Like if I touch the Xbox the logo on top, it's going to get scratched up and I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this thing looks great. Obviously it should brand new, but yeah, just to give you guys another look before we turn it on, here is the front. Got your disc tray it says Xbox. You got players one, two, three, and four. I uh, you got your eject, your power on. We already saw the bottom. Uh, top looks good as well with that Xbox logo. It's a pretty sweet logo. And then here on the back you got your power plug, your AV port, and your Ethernet port if you want to do Xbox Live. All right, so it took us a while, but we unboxed this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. And before we test it out, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see future content, and hit that join button if you want to support the channel monetarily. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and plug this thing in, and let's hope it works. All right, guys, so we're all plugged up. And real quick before we turn it on, just want to give you another close-up view of how good this thing looks. I mean, it's brand new, so it should look good, but I even <laughs> I even left on the plastic wrap because I don't want to scratch up the glossy part. Um, and yeah, there's the Xbox logo. Looks really good. And here's the controller as well. Looks really good. Uh, like I said, I have not opened up the games yet. I'm not sure if I will, uh, but we'll test out just this other game I have, NBA Street Volume 2. One of my favorite games from back in the day. But uh, let's go ahead and boot this thing up, and we'll hope it works. All right, guys, so let's get a little countdown. So three, two, one nice we got life and we got that classic startup screen let's go it is booting up that is a <laughs> that's a great sign I was a little bit worried that after 20 years this thing would not boot up but here we go let's go ahead and do the setup process so we got language English if you connect your Xbox to the internet it may occasionally up communicate and download updates I will pass we'll go Eastern they like savings sure and then set our clock. You know what? Let's just act like we got this on a on a midnight release. I know this is actually not this thing didn't actually come out until 2005. But we'll just we'll just act like it's release day, and we just got it. We just got home from Best Buy or something. Whoever sold these things back in the day, and we're setting up our time. 1:16 a.m. <laughs> I don't even know if they had midnight releases back in 2001, but we'll, we'll just assume. So let's go ahead and just do a a quick scroll of nostalgia through this menu. So we got memory. And back then they did the, you know the block the whole blocks thing um, instead of actual megabytes gigabytes um, that sort of thing. So you got 50,000 blocks. You got music, so you can put in your CDs, um, audio CD as you can see. Play some music, pretty cool. It's actually kind of interesting to look at something like this because uh, audio CDs are something we don't really use much nowadays. Everybody has like Spotify, Apple Music, that sort of thing. At least I do. Um, I know there's some people that still listen to, to CDs or vinyl, that sort of thing, but it's just kind of interesting to see the, the old tech that was this big back then. It's just kind of fading away. Um, you know, most consoles now, or most things now, don't have disk drives on them. Um, even the, you know, there's a PS5 digital edition, there's a uh, Xbox Series S, kind of just interesting. You got your Xbox Live tab as well. So you can create a new account, account recovery, and then settings. It's always interesting to see what kind of settings we got in here. So, clock, we already set that, language, you set that, audio. You can set that between mono, stereo, and Dolby Surround. Let's go ahead and do Dolby Surround, even though I'm <laughs> connected up to a monitor right now that does not have surround sound, but uh, who cares? All right, then you got video, um, you got normal, letterbox, and widescreen. We'll go widescreen, why not? Actually, that zooms it out too far. Let's, go, let's just go normal. And then you got your network settings, if you want to connect to your internet. Then you got your auto sign-in, parental control, auto off, System info, actually auto off, that's interesting, I wonder if... Okay, so you can set it up to shut down, shut down automatically after six hours. 
good feature, and then system info. Um, nothing much to see here. All right, guys, so pretty basic menu, which is pretty standard for this kind of day and age. Let's go ahead and open up this disk drive, and hopefully that'll open up and work. Perfect. Um, you know, a lot of these disk drives on the 360, the original Xbox, they'll there's a, basically a little rubber band in there that gets really dirty, and the disk drives won't open. Um, luckily, that is not an issue since this thing has been sealed. But let's go ahead and try out this game I have right here. So NBA Street Volume Two. If you're a basketball fan at all, and you you know you're alive in this day, then you probably played this game or one of the NBA Street games. I wish they'd bring them back. Such fun games. But let's go ahead and make sure this game boots up and make sure we can read a disc. All right, so there we go. Seems to be loading up. Uh, we'll we'll wait until we get to the main screen and kind of just make sure we can play a game for a few minutes. All right, guys. So here we are on the main menu. Seems to work just fine. Controller is working as well. And we'll just go ahead and pull up a pickup game real quick. All right, guys. So it is working. Got some legendary players in the court right now, like Shaq. Um, I'm gonna. I just got embarrassed because I'm playing with one hand. But uh, yeah. So there we go. Let's go ahead and go back to the the home screen. And so yeah, back on the home screen. This thing is pretty sweet. I'm um, glad I picked this up. You know, it's <laughs> it wasn't cheap, like I said, but uh, it's kind of a one once in a lifetime kind of experience. I know I could have experienced back in the day, but I was I was young back then. I did not have money to just um, buy, you know, both an Xbox, a PS2, and whatever else um, I could buy back then, like a Dreamcast. But like I said, I had a PS2. Um, I've had an Xbox for a few years now, just because I've kind of gotten into it. But let me know down below what your favorite part of the unboxing was. Hope it was kind of a trip down memory lane. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe. And also hit that join button if you want to support the channel monetarily and check out my website as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.